Welcome! This digital guide is directed to students undertaking a Bachelor of Commerce with a major in Human Resources. This guide will contain information for which by the end of this video, students should be able to better understand and discuss the surrounding global trends in mobile education, cultural settings of the developing or developed world, consider key educational approaches and different uses of mobile technologies in relation to human resources. With the increasing popularity of the internet and mobile devices, statistics show that 51% of the total population are internet users and 93% of the total population are mobile internet users. Going mobile is more convenient and adaptive to a fast-paced lifestyle. It has made a considerable impact on the effectiveness and efficiency of education and learning. Statistics show that going mobile has helped students to improve their grades, help them feel better prepared for class and save some time. However, even with such significant global impacts, as HR students we know that not everyone is able to afford such expensive investments in their lives, which is why we look at the affordability, which is the financial consumption of each product, and the affordances, which is the usability of the device in a specific context. These issues that arise with affordability looks at the high startup costs of mobile initiatives as an additional barrier, and the lack of teacher training and support in the affordances of mobile education. Mobile learning is only as good as what its cultural setting can offer. A developed country has the benefits of a more powerful and advanced mobile telecommunication infrastructure, therefore better supports mobile learning. With the privilege of being in a developed country such as Australia, mobile learning can be incorporated into HR using different educational approaches. The first of these approaches is information transmission. As HR students, understanding the roles and constructs of the human resource management requires knowledge of regulations and theories of the corporate structure and culture. Information transmission is practiced on a regular basis in a university setting, where the lecturer or tutor transmits information to students with a designated body of knowledge in the predetermined order. Another educational approach is embodied learning. As we know, HR practitioners in the workforce requires human interaction on a regular basis, therefore a huge part of education involves embodied learning. Since our engagement with the world is not just cognitive or theoretical, but involves the emotional, practical, aesthetic and so on, we need to recognise that these various meanings are united by an act of intellectual synthesis. Using these two educational approaches, we look into five specific uses for mobile technologies, which are multimedia recording, ebooks, educational apps, augmented reality apps, and QR codes. Multimedia recording is one of the most common forms of information transmission that is used widely across the globe. The renowned lecture capture system used here at UWA is an example of this. Using the system of online multimedia recordings, students have the flexibility to control their learning content in setting it at their own pace in having the power of speeding up or pausing the lecture. Ebooks are electronic formats of textbooks that are purchased instantaneously and downloaded onto mobile devices such as laptops, computers, tablets, and even smartphones. The growing popularity of ebooks is due to its lower prices, sustainability, portability, and customizable options such as text size, font style, night mode, or even the search option. As human resource management students, we know that effectiveness is vital in learning, especially in real-life HR functions such as training and development programs. Educational apps such as Quizlet, Socrative, Lucidchart, and Kahoot can be used to instigate different learning styles through flashcards, short games and pop quizzes while using the information transmission approach. Now we look at the embodied learning approach where we can explore more intricate and stimulating learning styles through augmented reality apps where students learn from a corporeal schema. As HR students we know that sometimes the only way is to learn is by doing, therefore augmented reality apps such as Google Translate, Mondly and Augment can be used to present and explore the real world that is enhanced by virtual figures. Finally, considering that training and development programs are vital in employer retention, a great way to stimulate learning and kinesiology of the individual is to incorporate QR codes into learning. Implementing these codes can be a strategic way to kinesthetically, mathematically, mechanically and collaboratively involve the individual in learning and in a HR sense enhance the corporate culture. Pause here for feedback and changes. Here are my references.